Team, give me your opinion on this. Do you think it's gonna work? You know, it looks like one of the scary toys from Toy Story. That's what it looks like. Here is my previous attempt at motorizing my snowboard. But now I'm gonna try this stud idea. So you can buy these studs that you just screw straight into your tire and it makes it so you can drive on snow. God, this one just looks like there's nails coming out of the wheel like it's a weapon. I can't put a tire on this motor because it's supposed to have bike spokes put into it. But I have this rubber mat lying around. So my plan is to cut a thin strip out of this mat and wrap it around the motor to act like a tire. And then I can just take some screws and drill them into the rubber to act like these studs. Ow. Look at that. It is just so horrifying. This is gonna be my weapon during a zombie apocalypse. I got all of those screwed in. It seems to be pretty stable. I got the rubber on the motor there. So this might actually work. Moment of truth, part two. Oh, I can move the snow out of the way. Kind of. Oh, from behind. Ha! Hey! This is so awkward, but it's working. I have no idea what this camera angle is going to be like. I need two hands, honestly. I think I need a GoPro. So it was kind of working before but it needed to be lower to the ground and coming from behind. I've wedged the handlebars underneath my right foot and I got the thumb throttle now on a longer wire in my hand. Hopefully this thing should be able to push me. It's so bad, but it's actually working. Ah. A wheel full of screws coming towards you is much scarier in person. Oh, that's working pretty well. The, the, there's a little bit of a slope. It's good at getting me started. Okay, afraid to go full throttle. Full throttle? Full throttle? Oh, it just spins. Okay, not full throttle. Let's just get a little bit of speed. Oh, there we go. A little bit of speed. This is nice. I don't think I'll be able to go uphill at all, but downhill, down here, just to prove, I'll, I'll let go of the throttle and oh god, the whole thing comes to a stop. <sighs> I think I need a better design. The motor right now is really struggling to grip into the snow, so it keeps spinning on top of the snow and I'm not getting the full power to push me forwards. And if you look at ski doos and snowmobiles, their tracks have these big paddles that help them dig into the snow and push the vehicle along. So my plan right now is to try and mimic these paddles on my custom motor. by other cars on a slight downward slope, not moving without the motor, with the motor, moving slightly. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. Look at that, this is innovation. Maybe it needs more weight to it, maybe. Oh, more weight definitely helps. More weight. So that's- I don't know where I'm going. Guide me, I can't see. You're not going anywhere fast. I wonder if I go uphill. This is kind of work. Oh. Somehow figure this part out. As soon as I get the right angle, you can 
feel the power. I've really got to push it. Oh, oh. oh that, is, that is a lot of pressure on my wrist. I'm sweating. I think it would have been easier to just push. Yeah, well, no, I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> you want me just to push you? There we go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. If you push me, it works great. <laughs> Oh my god. That's exhausting. I bet. Oh, okay, I'm say, happy with that. Say bye.